I would like to uh, explain the part two of uh, of this uh, theater sitting chair program. So in part one, um, we use a two uh, D integer two um, <coughs> D array to um, how to describe to say to the two dimensional array of integer and to store the price of the ticket. For this, see that we have nine rows and uh, nine rows and and ten seats for each each row. So we did the number. Uh, part one was able to print it out, and the part two. Then we have to do this right now. We have to write the program and to uh, to purchase. So when we purchase, we can either purchase by C. Uh, so I want to buy the price. I want to buy fifty dollars. The first available one will be uh, row one and C three. Uh, then you can say I want it to be row two and C five. That's that C. So you can buy C number or you can buy price. But notice the C number is row one, row two, but in array this is zero. One two three four five six seven eight. Okay, zero one two three four five six seven eight. Okay, so we need to pay attention for the real number and our is a little bit different. <clears throat> so this is our program right here. So first I'll print the C. Okay, so after this I print C. So from here to line twenty, we did that in part one. No part two right now, so we're going to say I do the easy one number. So you pick one that you're going to uh, buy the C by price. If you enter two, you want to buy the C by C number. And negative one, then you do, you want to stop this program. So I have a scanner right here. Then the next number I pop out. That's my choice. If my choice, as long as my choice not negative, not equal to negative one, negative one, I'm going to quit. I'm going to stop the program. Then I have choice right here. If that's number one, I am going to ask you the price because you are going to buy purchase by price, and then I'm going to give because our price integer. So I'm going to get the price and I'm going to sell by price. Well, there are only uh, two second options. So else, I'm going to sell by seeds. By seeds, I'm going to pass my 2D uh, integer array into it. All right. So this is a while loop. So first, this this line is your. <coughs> this will be uh, first input, and you need to uh, first read. If you read this number, be able to uh, start the while loop. And while then the inter uh, the uh, variable so this uh, variable choice not equal to your negative one that's called your sentinel. So as long as your choice is not the sentinel, that's a special number to stop the program. Special number right now is negative one. For while loop, I must have a first read and second read. So this is second read. Second read to allow you to uh. Repeat, create the loop. The second read, and inside here are the looping body. So e easy, we ask you, one or two, one, you want to purchase by price, two, you want to purchase by seats, All right? And this is the uh, looping structure. Then let's do this right now. Okay, so, uh, let me do the by price. If you want to sell by price, I already pass. The price to you. So we are going to say this: as long as your um, row is in is valid, is between zero to nine. Then, as long as your seed is also valid, zero, one to ten, zero to nine. Okay. Once that's a uh, uh, valid, and I'm going to uh, put the price uh, into. Uh, this C. As soon as I find our first available C, remember all C was set to zero at first. Then once I find it, 
then I'm going to set uh, that C to zero. It's sold right now, set to zero, and return. I don't need to continue. Now, if um, I come and I do all these, and I did not find my C, I will say that, sorry, no C found with that price. Okay, because that's price. All right, that's sell by price. We sell by seeds. By seeds, and we're going to do this right now. First, uh, we are going to, oh, sorry, it's right here, print by, sell by seeds. So I sell by seeds, then I have to prompt the user. That's my uh, 2D seating chart array. So first you enter your row number you want it. So with the scanner in, I got the row number. So row number is here. Again, I need to check my row number is valid. If that's not valid, uh, I'm going to tell you that, sorry, invalid row, okay? Now, so if, then, uh, right here, invalid row. So if that's a valid row, I'm going to check my uh, C number. So I got my C number right now, and also my C number has between zero uh, to nine, okay? Uh, yeah, because it's 10 seats. Now, as long as your C is not equal to zero, and notice I have to minus one here right now, because when you purchase your row, you say I want first row, and the third C, but in array, that's zero row, and subscript to two. So in order to match the real number with our array, I have to minus one. So I get minus one, get into the array to look for that C. That C. All right, so if that C number right there, if that C is not equal to negative, not equal to zero, that C is not sold yet. I'm going to set that C to zero, so I see sold that C, okay? So that's zero. And then otherwise, I couldn't find it, sorry, uh, C is already occupied, okay? Then I also want to print. Uh, so let's run this program right now. So I'm going to run <coughs> as Java application. All right, so this is my uh, seating chart for the theater. I'm going to buy by price. All right, so this is the first row. So I am uh, going to buy $50, $50. So $50, that's the first row, the third C. So it's zero right now. The C is already being taken. So I'm going to try a uh, second one, okay? I'm going to buy by C. And I'm going to do first row, okay? I want to buy that C. Okay, and the fourth seat. Okay, so that C is sold right now, zero. Okay, then uh, let's do another one. I want to buy uh, by price. Okay, uh, so I'm going to put one and I put $40. And so that $40 C is take it right now. So uh, I finish my transaction of uh, purchasing. I put negative one. The program will stop. All right. So this complete your uh, theater uh, seating chart program. This is part two. I hope you like this video.